morning, you guys, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, I'm using my new Avatar merch. This was like my birthday gift to myself, um, going to that concert, and I showed it in the last weekly vlog. I got some merch and was wearing it and using it this day at the gym. <laughs> Uh, I don't have a ton of footage for this day, but I am foam rolling and I kind of thought I would talk about my foam rolling routine because I do foam roll quite a lot. Um, I used to foam roll literally every day, especially when I was heavier and especially when my back would act up a lot. Like I've had bigger boobs and my back always has kind of given me issues as I've lost weight and as I've gotten stronger, it doesn't give me as much issues anymore. But back in the day, you know, when I was trying to work out regularly, it was annoying because, yeah, my back would just always be a problem. So I got into the routine of foam rolling, and it's something I've always kept up. Um, and now I do it anytime I do barbell work, honestly. If I'm squatting or deadlifting or benching, then, yeah, I like to foam roll after my warm-up just to get my body primed and ready. Um, Self-myofascial release is scientifically proven to help whether you're using a foam roller or you're doing dynamic stretching, getting massages, whatever. It helps with recovery. It helps with your muscle flexibility. Our muscles literally get knots in them, like literally. <laughs> and releasing that tension, um, releasing the pain, it helps to ease soreness and prevent soreness. And uh, yeah, it's just good for overall flexibility and mobility. So I love to foam roll and I always foam roll. As you can see now, I'm doing my IT band. I foam roll my IT band, my glutes, my hamstrings, and my quads. The quad is always the most painful. I won't lie. I don't do the quad all the time, but I'm trying to get better with doing the quad. <laughs> and of course, I still do my lower back and upper back. Those were one of the first ones I started with. And yeah, this day, um, I can't remember everything I did this day, honestly, but the only thing I really recorded was my foam rolling and whew, sorry some handstand work i'm still practicing my handstands it's something that's going to take a while to get but i am determined and i have some really cool handstand um work coming up soon hair is turning out nice Woo! this is i mean i cut it and started yesterday and so i'm headed to gymnastics so we'll see how it holds up after class <laughs> but i'm headed to gymnastics have a tumbling class today Oh, it should be a good time. Today is a day. Today is like a day. <laughs> um, gymnastics class. Then I have an appointment. Getting my eyebrows done, nails done, toes done. And I got some editing to do. Ugh, this is a day. I don't know how much I'm actually going to be vlogging. But I will be recording clips throughout the day. <sighs> I'm feeling good. We got to go though. I'm going to be late to gymnastics. I'm always late. I'm not trying to be late. I've been doing some work and now it's time for my nail appointments, feet appointment, and I'm getting my eyebrows threaded finally. I'm just trying to be comfortable. Gymnast Ugh. There's so much I want to do and learn in gymnastics. I want to continue trying to learn my back handsprings. I want to get this front, the fly spring, the head spring. No, wait. I think I might be mixing up some of these names. Still, you get the point. In addition to the handstand stuff, I think I'm going to start doing more gymnastic private sessions. But you know what? I go to calisthenics this week too. I am just loving this style of training. It flips the tumbles, the handstands. 
All the body weight stuff is just so much fun. It's so, so much fun. I'm being silly. I'm gonna go um, to the salon. I'm, why did I do that? I don't even be on TikTok like that. I'm embarrassing myself. I made it. So this was my first time back in calisthenics class. Oh my gosh, I missed it so much. But it feels good to be back. It was so good to see the instructors. Just like my favorite instructors. And yeah, it's just cool getting back into it. Um, these are pike compressions. And oh my God, <laughs> they just the worst. Working on building hip flexor strength is so important for things I wanna do in the future with handstands, with calisthenics work. But yeah, they're notoriously weak because we don't normally train hip flexors. Um, right here, I'm doing chin-ups, but they're with but with the hold midway as well as up top. Now we're moving into shoulder stands, which, <laughs> yeah, I'm clumsy. <laughs> Let's just say there's a lot of growth that needs to happen with my shoulder stands. Um, now we're doing some pike handstand holds, which actually I learned later that I'm actually doing this wrong. When I do it the right way, it's a lot more painful. <laughs> and yeah, here we are, shoulder stands again. This is the main instructor, um, Jermaine. He's awesome. Definitely trying to work with him as a coach at one point in the future. Ignore me here. This is me like trying to do a back lever and I just, I can't. I can't do it. And that was my calisthenics class. It's so good being back in calisthenics. And in fact, I was so gassed that I ended up going to the gym afterwards. This is what I'm talking about when I say that like body weight training gets me more excited about actually losing more body fat because calisthenics, gymnastics, all of this stuff is you carrying your own weight. And I'm so performance motivated and skill based that I want to see myself do better. And I'm like, the lighter I am, the easier these things are going to be. But yeah, my calisthenics class was so amazing and so much fun. It had me so hyped that I went to the gym for a second round later that afternoon. And I decided to just like practice some things on my own. I was doing the tuck to L sit, which I'm horrible at because compression is really difficult for me. Um, but it's something I'm still trying to work on and build strength up because we got plans. Okay, we got plans. And then, yeah. This is me doing another shoulder stand, which I'm actually really proud of the progress I'm making with my shoulder stand. Even though I'm clumsy, even though I fall over, <laughs> whatever, PR or ER, okay? And this was both a PR and the low key ER. <laughs> starting my removing makeup going to bed nighttime skincare thing and literally in the middle of it i was having some thoughts and i was like i should vlog <laughs> so that's how we started at this point um so yes now i hope i don't regret talking about this <laughs> um <laughs> if you guys saw the last video I did, like about the dating and updates about that and my 2023 year in review, then yeah, if not, go watch that. But I know in that video, we were really just highlighting the epic fails, right? And the joke that is the race of men, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, you know, funny story time kind of stuff and just like thinking about my time dating over the last few years that I've been in London. It's been an experience, it's definitely been an experience. It's going to be, in a few months time, it's going to be my three year marker of when I moved here, like me living here. And in those three years, in three years, 
you know, in the next few months when it comes. The three years that I've lived here, there's only really been three men that I've liked. And it's varying degrees of like too. One guy, I mainly kind of fell for the idea of him because we actually ended up going out and I was like, oh, he cute, but no. Another guy I liked, and I actually did generally really, really like him, but he was young and I was being stupid, ignoring little flags. Like the dude, he's always busy, always busy, so, so busy. And now there's someone else that I really, really, really like. Our date's coming up. And actually, I don't even know if I'm including the footage because I'm filming this ahead of time, right? Because I'm doing weekly vlog and I want to stockpile footage and have nice long vlogs for you guys. But I'm doing the dating video too, which anyway, I don't know if I'm going to insert talking about that guy in that video or this is the first time you're hearing about him. But yeah, I really like him. And it feels different. And it feels, it just feels different. And I don't know, I'm excited. And you know what, it's scary being excited. Let me finish washing this off, okay? Let me come back to you. <sighs> but yeah, I'm, these eyelashes, they're still going strong. I love my lash lady. But yeah, I'm excited. And it's scary being excited. It's scary having hope. I've been so comfortable in my singleness. And honestly, I'm, <laughs> I don't know, it's easy for me. It's really easy for me. I'm very introverted. I have a lot going on that I'm trying to do, things that I invest my time in, you know, making the career shift, getting to personal training, having goals and so many different, you know, hobbies. And I just, I do a lot and I fill up a lot of my time reading books, working on myself. Like, I don't know. I'm good and I'm really comfortable being single. I've never struggled with it, like fortunately, you know, and I totally understand people who do. I, I, I completely get it. But yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, oh, meeting someone and being like, oh, this might be different. You might be a little different. <laughs> I kind of like you and I don't really like a lot of people. <laughs> like I said, three years three people he's one of them right so yeah it's been so fun and i am hopeful because i do see potential but you never know how these things go you know and i keep just reminding myself not to get to enjoy the moment and not to get too far ahead maybe it's sad because i'm just kind of like don't fantasize don't get too far in your head you know, the higher you allow your head up in the clouds, the harder the fall is when you when you come down. <laughs> but it's just nice even being hopeful. It feels really good. And I'm just enjoying this feeling. I don't know. I feel like part of me, you know, especially realizing how rare like real connection is and stuff. And like, I just, I'm picky. I'm just really picky. Yeah, I just want to enjoy this season of like having a crush, having things just be positive and fun and light. Like, and you know, if anything comes of it, if things grow and blossom, that would be awesome. But if not, I'm just enjoying what I have right now. Cause it comes by so rarely, but yeah. I just think about my little crush. So, you know, I'm gonna talk to you too about my little crush. So that's, that's the crush. Um, oh my God, I put that oil. I wanted to use my retinol <laughs> and I already put oil on my face. Ugh, whatever, another day. But yeah, you guys, I got a little crush. I oh, have a date coming up and it's I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun with it. I'm so curious like if anyone else is in this situation, dating a bit older, late 20s, 30s, you know, kind of feeling jaded with online dating and also like just kind of like what am I trying to say? Like not finding what you're looking for or I guess it just comes far and few between, you know? 
And yeah, that's what kind of makes it scary because you're like, wow, I haven't come across someone like you that, that ticks off so many things that I want and desire in a partner in so long. Like green flag, green flag, green flag, like just, and it's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm feeling good and I'm feeling happy. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about my little crush. So yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed my little chit chat. I like to share this kind of stuff on YouTube. It's just, I don't know. I, I like to try to show a bigger picture and like other things happening in my life. Um, whereas like Instagram and stuff, I'm trying to just keep it, you know, strictly more fitness. But um, yeah, but I still like to do it in a way that's not, I mean, that's not overly revealing. Um, and actually I share with you guys way quicker and so much more about the men I don't like than the men I do. <laughs> because it's just easier. It's like, you know, this guy, and I can tell you a little story. It's so easy, it's like talking to girlfriends. But the guys I do like, it's just like, I don't wanna say too much. I don't wanna speak too soon. And I also, you know, just wanna respect their privacy and that kind of stuff. So I do try to zip my lip when I actually like someone. But, and also, I mean, it's literally like once in a blue moon when I do like someone anyway, so. <laughs> but yeah. This is the first time I'm telling you kind of early. I kind of like someone. I just woke up. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my goodness. See, I, just talking to y'all last night. Ugh, I'm so tired. I was just talking to y'all last night about the crush I have, date coming up, blah, blah, blah. This is so funny because I was talking to my friends and I was like, oh, look, I got this date. I like this guy. And my friends were talking about oh, what you going to wear. Do you know what scent you're going to use? Do you know blah, 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 like perfumes? And then my boyfriend was like, my favorite perfume when I was dating, because she'd been married for like seven years already, right? She's like, my favorite perfume, you know, this was like 10 years ago, is Dior by blah, 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 or something by Dior. And I was like, I think I've heard of that, but I've never used it. Tell me why today I get a random you know delivery and it's like a birthday gift and she they sent me this perfume <laughs> so funny so funny my friends dropping hits i can't believe they sent me a birthday <sighs> this is so sweet this is so sweet oh my god i love you guys roxy and gabby love you so much Thank you for the gifts. <sighs> Wearing this on my date. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, my friends are so funny. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. I knew it. Oh my gosh, these girls. <laughs> What's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to another weekly vlog. <laughs> God, it feels really good to be saying that. It has been a while. It's been a while. I mean, maybe not for you. Um, <laughs> if you're watching this, then hopefully I've gotten back into, you know, posting, weekly posting on YouTube. Right now, I'm trying to get into the groove of doing one video a week. Things are finally starting to slow down. Um, <sighs> I don't even, I don't, <laughs> y'all don't wanna hear the excuses. Life is life and okay? I'm posting on Instagram. I'm still very much keeping y'all in the loop of life, just, yeah, not so much on this platform, which is crazy because it's actually my favorite platform. <laughs> I had someone DM me and ask me, like, you know, it's okay if you just don't enjoy YouTube. And they were trying to be, they were being sweet. They were definitely being sweet. Like, this, I'm not snarking on you. But I was just like, is that the impression I give off? Like, YouTube is my favorite. It's just also the most time consuming, you know, um, filming. And even if you film clips here and there for a weekly vlog, you're like, wait, what did I film last? Is it all gonna string together? Is it all gonna be coherent? It's just, yeah. So I went to the gym and I'm back to squatting. If you don't know, now you know, but you probably know, hopefully you know. Hopefully you're following me on Instagram and you know. But we're back to squatting. I'm on the road to hit a 275 pound squat, which is only like, I don't know, a 14, 15 pound difference from my last personal best which isn't a ton of extra weight to add on, but 
it's significant to me, okay? I don't see myself trying to squat in any heavier. I don't know, my birthday passed and even before my birthday, I was just kind of like getting way more excited about body weight training, mobility, flexibility work, calisthenics, gymnastics, as I'm sure you guys can kind of see this transition that I'm making a bit. I mean, lifting will always have my heart, powerlifting I always will love, but I don't see myself wanting to get much more stronger than I already am. Just wanting to maintain the strength that I have and yeah. It's just so taxing and hard on the body, you know? Anyway, I went squatting and when I was squatting, I put on my belt, which I hadn't worn in a long time. And we had a non tailback day! And it was just so exciting. I got this belt back in May. Gonna use a belt! <laughs> So as y'all can imagine, I was heck excited to do this with the belt. I've never used a lifting belt before and I just wanted to see like what it feels like to properly breathe into it, how it was gonna change up my squat, how I was gonna feel. I got my lifting belt, I ordered my own belt, it came in. It's so real. Got the belt, we gonna man up, we gonna use it. We gonna lift some heavy-ish, okay? <laughs> But for now, I'm gonna go in and do some cardio. And I don't know, it's just kind of crazy. Um, because when I got it, I had one, two, three. I was I was here on the belt. This is where I was wearing it. And then I had actually posted and documented because I had moved down one of the belt loops. And I was like, oh my god, I only got wait, did I do that wrong? Yeah, anyway, I had posted and moved down on one of the loops, and I was like, oh my god. Oh my God, we're losing weight. I'm moving down the loops. And then like I ran out of loops. I don't know if you can tell, you see the size difference between this and this. Yeah, I ended up running out of the loops that came with this belt. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm losing weight. Yeah. And then I, <laughs> I took this to uh, like a shoe store leather puncher place and had them punch holes in, which is why there is the size difference. And they added three extra holes. And yeah, I was wearing it here for a while on hole one. Now we done moved our way down to hole two and I only got one more left. And I just love victories like this, especially with a belt like this. This thing is not like, oh yeah, it's being stretched out. It's being like, no, this don't lie. But it's kind of crazy to like put it on and be like, wow, stooted right there. And then we close all the way there. I mean, approximately, right? It's not on my body, but it's really cool. <laughs> you gotta track progress in every way you can. So this is where we are now with only one belt left. And we started right here. What's the difference? So cool. I just really wanted to like actually see that difference. Like weight loss is just, it's slow. It'd be so slow slow and fast at the same time like <laughs> thinking back it's like oh wow this is happening so quick but day to day it just it feels so slow take your pictures do your measurements non-scale victories look for ways that you have won all over because it's so hard even right now i mean i am on my monthly at the moment but i just be in the mirror like looking bloated why well, i feel like my jawline never is popping like some days I'm like, ooh, ooh, other, no, not now. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, oh, there's so much happening. This is gonna be a fun week, an interesting week. Just all oodles and oodles of fun. Oodles and oodles. Steak, eggs, bell peppers, salsa, tortillas. <laughs> it's raining and we're still running that's how committed i am 10k baby 10k this is my third run this week so we've definitely stepped it up um especially since i had the little schedule 
So I'm all right, you know, some days quick two miler, other days two and a half. Uh, the day before yesterday, I just ran 3.3 miles, which I was only supposed to run three miles. Today was supposed to be a 3.5. So I am kind of going off the script, like I am. <laughs> but so today, I'm gonna just see how I'm feeling, especially with this rain. But I think today's gonna be a short one. Two miles, two and a half. Trying to, you know, get my rhythm. Fall in love with the run. <sighs> But yeah, I'm feeling good about this. Feeling good about the regular runs. Feeling good, especially if I keep it up. Like, 10K in no time, baby. No time. All right, finished today's run. Um, definitely was a short one, just two miles. Really, really slow because of the rain. But I'm just happy I got it done. Made it out three times this week and decent distances too, you know? 3.3 miles last time, two miles this time. But I'll see the next one I do needs to be about four miles, but whatever, it is what it is. Feeling good though. trying to um, be intentional about using my <laughs> under the desk treadmill walker. <laughs> I want to use it every day because I want to like, I already use it quite frequently, honestly, but I want to be intentional about using it every day and bumping up my just normal step increase to increase my TDEE, see what that does with my weight loss. You know, I'm thinking just 30 days straight using this in addition to like my normal steps that I get in to see what it does bumping up my TDEE for my weight loss. Yeah, I'm trying to put on, I always just like to watch anime. I try to work on this while it's going, but it does not work for me. So I try to just watch anime while I'm doing it. And I just started solo leveling. One of y'all was DMing me, gotta watch solo leveling, Ashley, gotta watch it. So I just started it and um, I'm just on episode four. It's only, it's only a couple episodes, so I didn't really even want to start it because I wanted it to like get more episodes, but <laughs> whatever. So this is her, y'all. This is what we're going to watch as we, oh, I'm at the mm, end of episode three. Okay. Okay. And we're going to do this.